Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. This topic has been on my mind for a while and I've just been, you know, relegating it. But today it's a beautiful day to, you know, do some introspection and talk about projection. And when I say projection, I mean say you're having a bad day you're having a you know as a human the need to project your bad day to people who have nothing to do with it the, the need to go on someone's page and say horrible things to them when they've done nothing to you projection what causes projection how can we curb projection what are the what are the predisposing factors to projection? What are the things that we can do to make sure that we don't put our loved ones through horrible ordeals <laughs> based on based on what we're going through you know a mother could be going through a very rough patch maybe having a bad day and then she can come home and project her bad day on her kids by say spanking the kids for no just cause or yelling at the kids some people might be going through a bad day and they can come and project that bad day by say you know saying mean things to people or trying to like some people can go as far as like I, I told you guys calling child protective services on a, on a public figure or doing something horrible to somebody just to make yourself feel better about the bad things that are going on with you what are the ways that we can curb projection and make sure that we do not do it to our loved ones the people that we say that we love and basically in general just putting an eye out for June in general to um, to make sure that we don't do this to people we love I have been a victim of projection almost all my life um, because I seem to be very happy happy-go-lucky people who are having like maybe a rough patch in their lives just have the they feel like they, I could be like the person that they pour their projection like project their evil to say slap me or say say a horrible cruel thing to me to make me not be happy or to make me feel bad about myself or to make me feel a certain way and I have been constantly in my life a victim of projection say someone's going through a stressful patch I'm always the first person who gets the brunt of it maybe because I put up this um, this rules of happiness and this rules of um, perfection maybe so I basically I have been hey June hey Junie I have been a victim of projection all my life um, come say hi my love no. um, oh thank you Inkem Ifi Odiga how do we make ourselves better as humans so that we are not like for me as a mother it's not okay to have a bad day and come home and yell at my child no it's not okay for me to have a bad day and go online and say horrible things to my favorite celebrities no it's not okay for you as a human being to project what you're feeling on other people and make them feel horrible about themselves just because you feel horrible yes the same misery loves company what are the ways I'm looking at the comments to make sure that we don't do this to people we don't project our ill feelings to them oh thank you you're always an amazing person be oh thank you Patrice Johnson love you what are the ways 
They're only jealous of me, babe. Yes, you can. So, what are the ways that we can make sure that we don't let our jealousy as humans make us become bad people? Because you can let your jealousy lead you into a dark place and then you can become a bully. You can make your jealousy lead you to a dark place and you can do something that you didn't even plan to do. Like say a horrible thing about someone you claim to like. So what are the things that we can do to make sure that we curb our excesses as humans? We curb our excesses? What are the things to do? Keep smiling there, the Lord is your strength. Keep smiling. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. The people projecting negativity are happy. Yes. They are projecting negativity. What are the things that we can do to stop projecting negativity? Thank you. Because it's very easy for us as humans to project whatever we're going through. Say we're going through positivity, your happiness can be infectious and you're just happy and you're just projecting happiness. But once you're going through a miserable patch, once you're going through an unhappy patch, it's also very easy to project that unhappiness. So what are the ways that we can curb projection? Thank you. Because I could say, oh my gosh, I'm going through a very horrible patch in my life. It's not the easiest time. But that doesn't make it okay to say, spank my kids or do something horrible because I am going through a rough patch. What are the ways to, to curb projection? Say, for example, you're an, you're, you're, a, you're an older woman. You see a woman that is, you know, younger. You're feeling some type of way like, mm, there was a time I looked like that. And then you feel... A little bit of jealousy and then you want to make the woman the younger woman feel bad about herself what are the ways we can curb projection I'm reading they are acting as if you they live in your house and they know what's going on my dear what are the ways to curb projection Cora I don't think think it's gonna change people are hateful just you just have to ignore those people yeah, but I mean, yes, people are hateful. People are, I mean, the heart, the heart of man is desperately wicked, according to the Bible. So, what, but practically, there should be a way that we can, we can curb, because this is out of hand. It's out of hand. Let's talk about ways that we can curb projection. I think one of them is actually self-care. If you're taking care of yourself and you're in a happier place, there's no way for you, there's no reason for you to, for you to, to project your insecurities, project your negativity, project your hate on people. There's no way, there's no reason. If there's 20% of people bullying you out of 100%, pay attention to the 80%. They are more relevant than the 20%. I think in my case it's 50-50 if you ask me. <laughs> I have 50-50 of both. Some people need to work on them, love, self-love and reflection. Yes, I think that one of the first ones will be self-care. If you're taking care of yourself, you wouldn't have the time to project your hateful, negative, miser miserable, 
projections on people. If you are not just taking care of yourself, if you are, what's the word? Self-love. Then if you are in a, in, a, in a space where you are satisfied, if you're working on your self-actualization, what is it? I can see. If you're in a place where you're working on your on your self-love, self-actualization, and you're constantly in a in a place of pursuit of self-actualization, you wouldn't really have the time to project. Because it's a time thing. You must actually be very free with your time in order to project. It's done because a person it projects is either miserable or jealousy and there's nothing you can do about it but ignore and keep moving yes but here we're here to address the jealous and the miserable people and we're here to give advice because yeah we're just here to give advice if you actually take care of yourself you wouldn't have the need to project if you If you're taking care of yourself, there's no need to project. If you are in a happy place, there's no need to project. If you're doing right by yourself, there's no need to project. You know? The same misery, yes, definitely loves company. So, 